Hello everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we'll be exploring the Kalakuta Museum and this video is going to be a continuation of the video we did in Ogun State, Abeokuta, where we visited Fela's family house. And if you haven't seen the video of Fela's family house in Ogun State, Abeokuta, kindly check my channel and you are going to see the video there and watch it after watching this or before watching this so you can get the full gist of the whole story. Many foreign companies, they Africa, carry all our money go. Them go right big English for newspaper, Dabaru, we Africans. Them go right big English for newspaper, Dabaru, we Africans. I read about one of them inside book like that, them calling him na ITT. I read about one of them inside book like that, them calling him na ITT. Cause confusion, cause corruption, cause oppression, cause inflation, then we cause oppression. Today we will continue telling the history of the Anikulapo family through Fela Anikulapo, who was the father of Afrobeat. Fela has three houses in Lagos and the Kalakuta Museum was one of his houses which housed his band members and his dancers. This house also doubles as his music studio. After his death in 1997, his family decided to convert this house of Fela into a museum and the name Kalakuta was coined from Fela's sales room, Kalakuta, during the time he was in prison. Kalakuta Museum is located at 7 Bemisola Street, Ikeja. And the gateway to the museum is about 2000 era, but I'm not really sure because someone actually sponsored my tour to this museum as a birthday gift to me. Shout out to my sponsor, thank you very much. I appreciate you for sponsoring this video. The building also has a rooftop access where there's bar where you can buy drinks and also eat. So after exploring the museum, if you are feeling hungry, you can go up to the rooftop and buy food, drinks and palm wine and enjoy the evening. Enjoy your weekend. Yeah. Thank you. So this is the grave of Fela and Fela Pekuti. So if I'm sitting by the grave of Fela, Fela is down there. Does it mean I've chewed this Fela before? So yes, I can say I've chewed this Fela before because I'm actually chewing here. But I'm, in, I'm thinking Fela was, might probably be buried with a blunt based on the way he likes smoking. But probably have been buried with a blunt. So if I'm chilling by the grave of Fela and smoking a blunt, does that, that mean I've shared a blunt with Fela before? Don't want to finish me. Getting into the museum, you'll be welcomed by the reception and a large hall which has pictures of Fela's album on the walls. The ceiling of the reception are covered with beautiful art that talks about Fela, covers and different artwork that dates back to what he experienced and what he faced during his time alive. There is also a souvenir shop just on the ground floor so if you are looking into getting any gift that is going to make you remember visiting this place then that is where you should be there are clothes cups caps and different things please note that videos are not allowed in the museum but because i have my ways i'm going to be taking you through the tour and explaining everything to you just like the tour guide in the museum will if you think i'm lying watch this video and go to the museum and you're going to see there isn't going to be any difference between what you experienced there and what you experienced while watching this video like i said earlier on the walls of the ground floor there are six albums out of the last 42 albums and the tour guide is going to be explaining to you the story behind each of the album and what the songs contain let's go right into it the first album is the album which we call Ikoi Blindness. Ikoi Blindness was released in 1976 and it talks about Fela's disgust towards the people living in Ikoi because back then in the 90s, the rich and powerful lived in Ikoi and they treated and looked down upon people living in the slum area as if they were not humans even though the money in which they were using to live lavishly are the money they get from taxing the poor people that live in the slum. This was the reason why Fela sang the song Ikoi Blindness. The next song cover was called Kalakuta Show. Kalakuta shows talk about the way government enforcement officials usually come to Fela's house every month to raid his house, beat the wife, destroy things and perform all sorts of atrocities. This was a thing that Fela 
went through during his time alive because Fela was always tackling the government and since he was always tackling the government, the government also decided not to allow him rest since he won't let them rest. So they were always coming in every month to disturb Fela in his house. Because of that, Fela now called the album Kalakuta Show because he saw this coming of the enforcers every month as a show. The third music cover was titled Yellow Fever. Yellow Fever was a song by Fela which he used to tackle African women who decided to bleach their skin so they could look like white women. And after bleaching their skin, there were still some patches of their skin that was not evenly toned, making them look not so much like the white women they wanted to be. The fourth music cover was titled Zombie. Zombie was a song that Fela used to criticize the Nigerian army where he called them mindless people who just do as they are told and don't even ask why they were giving any orders. And as usual, after I criticized the army with this song, the wrath of the Nigerian army came down on him and they beat the hell out of him. The fifth music cover is titled Shakara. Shakara is a song that Fela used to criticize African women in general where he talked about the way African women are not receptive to men when men try to talk to them. If you did do Shakara, na Shakara Oloje you did do. The sixth music cover on the wall is titled Confusion. The song Confusion talks about a place in Lagos State called Ujueleba. Back in the 90s and even until today, Ujuelegwa has always been a very busy place that has different roads leading to different places. But back in the 90s, there were no traffic lights and traffic waters to coordinate the movement of different people in this place. This caused confusion in the roundabouts in Ujuelegwa where the place is always chaotic with different people trying to maneuver their way to their destination. And that is all for the six music covers on the wall. Next, we are going to be going up the stairs with the tour guide and we'll be seeing pictures where she's going to be describing different people in the pictures to us. After the stairway tour, we ended up in a passage which had Fela's guitar and piano on the wall. The passage led to a art gallery which contained different pictures from different times in Fela's life and different art exhibition as well. There is a second gallery just beside the first which had pictures of different people in Fela's life from his family members to the family of his spouse and the pictures of his wives. While on this tour, we made to know that Fela was originally married to one woman during his days studying music. This woman gave him just three children but later Fela married 27 of his band members who later had five other children for him. In the second gallery, you will see different artworks which were donated to the museum during the yearly celebration event which is celebrated in memory of Fela. During the event, there are different competitions ranging from dance, art, craft and music. The best artwork wins a cash prize and the artwork is donated to the museum. After every celebration event, a new set of artworks come in and the previous ones are removed from display and replaced with the new ones. At the 2022 celebration event, this artwork came third and it represents freedom. This came second and it also represents freedom. And this came first. The theme for 2022 celebration was Fear Not Man. 
And as you can see from this picture, we can see a young girl playing the saxophone in the midst of chaos. We can see army, soldiers, shooting and everything. But the girl still maintains her position without having a fear of whatever is going on around her. She fears not man. This is a picture of one of Fela's old girlfriend. This was the woman who introduced him to Pan-Africanism. She was a member of the Black Panther and she also inducted Fela into smoking weed. Hmm. Fear woman. After the gallery, the next stop was Fela's room which was enclosed in a glass. No pictures or videos are allowed here. But the picture I'm going to be adding to this video is something I got online. I could not take pictures or video there. Fela had a refrigerator in his room which he used to store junks. Fela was said to have sweet tooth so he loved eating chocolate, sweets and all other sorts of junks. After seeing his room, you are going to see his restroom, then you are going to see a room specially made to keep his shoes and undies and a very big coat he wore each time he traveled. Can you see how much shoes he had? Most of these shoes have become worn out due to weather condition, water and rain, but they are still being kept in the museum for preservation purpose. There is also a big coat in the room which he wore each time he travelled and there is a, one of his saxophone also in the room. Just beside the room where Fela's shoes are kept, you will be led into the manifesto room. Fela had a political party called MOP which stands for Movement of the People. But the political party was never registered or recognized because FEDECO, which was a body that governed electoral processes, refused to register MOP as a party which can contest for elections. In the manifesto room, you are going to see Fela's manifesto and the typewriter which he used to draft the manifesto. If you go online, you are going to see a website for MOP which also has manifesto, but the manifesto online are quite different from the one Fela drafted which is the original copy, though the one online takes its root from the one you can see in the Kalakuta Museum. Leaving the manifesto room, we are led up the stairs again where we see different pictures of different people on Fela's family tree and then we see a big picture of Fela and his 27 wives. So let me tell you everything you need to know about Fela getting married to 27 women. Fela married 27 of his band members after a consistent attack on his own by government officers who claimed he had kidnapped the woman for his pleasure. The band members became homeless after the devastating soldier attack on Kalakuta Republic in 1977. But in order to keep them together, Fela decided to marry them. He gave a piece of paper to his female band members requesting the names of those that would like to marry him. The entire 27 female band members pulled down their names. He later married them with the blessing of 12 Ifa priests and it was alleged that some parents of the ladies objected to this marriage. The wives were women from different ethnic groups in Nigeria and beyond. They were all well-educated and hard-working women from comfortable socio-economic backgrounds. However, in 1986, shortly after his release from prison, Fela Kuti divorced his 27 wives on the claim that marriage brings jealousy. It should be noted that they were not forced to leave his house after the divorce. Some lived with him till his death in 1997. The Kalakuta Museum has five rooms at the topmost floor which are used as hotel rooms so you can come here every other time to lodge and there's a rooftop restaurant and bar where you can chill, relax and get something to eat after the tour. On the wall of the topmost floor you are going to see a painting that shows Fela's life and death, his imprisonment, his music, his activism, his smoking habit and so on. And with that we come to the end of this tour. If you are coming across my page for the first time please make sure you subscribe, leave a like and drop a comment and if you are a returning subscriber thank you for always coming back to my channel i really appreciate you don't forget to leave a like and a comment down and don't forget to share this video with your friends so they can also enjoy this tour the same way you did thank you once more